This course module covers the technical fundamentals of the extractive process gas analysis. After completing this module, you will be able to tell why industrial processes need continuous measurements, understand the need for process gas measurements, differentiate between the methods of process gas measurements, describe the benefits of an extractive process gas analysis, outline what is necessary for a complete extractive measurement from the sample point to the gas analyzer. In industrial processes, one of the main tasks is to get information about process conditions by measuring temperatures, pressures, flows, or the status of materials that are used for production. These measurements are essential to control the process. The analytical measurement provides additional information about the concentration or composition of materials used within a process. A special field of analytical measurement is the continuous gas analysis. It is the ongoing measurement of concentrations of components in gas mixtures. They can be part of the production process or byproducts that need to be controlled like exhaust gases. There is also the need to prevent the creation of explosive gas mixtures if hazardous gases are involved. Gas analyzers measure these gas concentrations in various units. The most common measurements are the concentration in a volume or volume fraction. In chemistry, the volume fraction is defined as the volume of a component divided by the volume of all components of a mixture prior to mixing. The common unit is volume percent. Also very common is the measurement in parts per million, which is a number without units. Alternatively, gases can be measured in mass concentration. The unit used is milligram per cubic meter, which is a calculation of the molecule's weight in a fixed volume of one cubic meter, under defined conditions because the number of molecules differ in relation to temperature and pressure. Other definitions are molar concentrations, mole per cubic meter, or number concentration per cubic meter. A very common method for the gas measurement is the laboratory analysis. Therefore, a sample is taken from the process and transported to a laboratory. There are some advantages for such a laboratory measurement like easy controllable measurement conditions, always having a clean ambient environment where people can work safely, the measurement is performed under repeatable and stabilized conditions. But there is also a major disadvantage of the laboratory measurement. The method is discontinuous because the samples are only taken at frequent intervals from the process. This is why it is also called an offline method. There are a lot of processes that require not only more frequent, but continuous measurement of the gases. Such a nearly gapless recording of concentrations is required, for example, in emission monitoring, where local legislations or international regulations need to be fulfilled. There are also economical or ecological reasons for a process measurement in very small measuring intervals. Quality assurance of a production process often requires continuous control of the participating gases. Safety control in hazardous areas where toxic or explosive atmospheres are likely to occur require continuous and very fast measurements to prevent the risk of explosion. Indicators are the values at the lower explosion limit, LEL, or the threshold limit value. TLV. Now, let's have a closer look at how gas analyzers are installed in a plant. 
For the discontinuous measurement in laboratories, there is a facility to draw a gas probe from the process. The measurement then is called offline or at line if the lab is close to the process. To measure directly in the stack, extraction probes and analyzers are mounted together at the measuring point. This is called inline or in situ measurement. Finally, there is the extractive measurement. The sample gas is feeded continuously from the process line to an analysis system. It can be installed near to the measurement point or at a short distance. The gas can be conditioned before it enters the gas analyzers. Now we want to compare the methods of continuous measurement. The advantages of an inline or in situ measurement are the equipment is installed directly at the process with no need for gas sample transport over longer distances. So, changes of concentrations can be detected directly with a measurement with no delay and only a small T90 time. But there are also some significant disadvantages. The detector is exposed directly to process conditions like temperature, or high pressure. And there is no or less protection against dust and harsh process conditions. With these types of instruments, only one component can be measured. The installation is difficult and needs a lot of space at the measurement point. The extractive method offers some significant advantages. Like with the inline method, the sampling is performed automatically without manual effort. But extractive methods are more efficient because many components can be measured simultaneously. Maintenance of the equipment is superior with better accessibility and separation from the process. Another advantage is the easy calibration of extractive analyzers. Inline analyzers normally can't be calibrated without dismounting. Some disadvantages should be mentioned. There is additional effort for sampling and conditioning of the sample gases. The disposal of the samples to the atmosphere after the measurement can be critical. A potential risk of leakages in the sample system can lead to misreading. Big distances to the process result in longer response times. In the next section we will focus on the extractive measurement and the system components that are typical for the design of a complete continuous gas analysis system. What happens in between the sample point and the gas analyzer? After drawing the gas from a stack or a process pipe, the sample gas will be filtered from dust load and transported in a sample line. Often it is heated to prevent condensation from wet gases. The gas enters the sample handling system, which prepares the sample gas for accurate and reliable measurement without damaging the gas analyzer. Finally, the conditioned gas will be measured inside the analyzer and released into the atmosphere or back into the process. Analyzers are able to control the whole measurement process from the sample point to the exhaust. Why is it so important to condition the sample gas before measurement? Unconditioned sample gas mixtures from the process can be highly corrosive, toxic, or even explosive and damage your measurement equipment after a short period of time. From the field surface reports we can learn that the challenges appear in the gas conditioning system. About 70% of all problems with a measurement occur in this section. Another 25% of the service work is performed at the sensor itself. Just 5% of all repair or replacement is electronics hardware or solving software problems. So the know-how of adequate conditioning 
is the key factor for a successful gas measurement. Therefore, it is required to have exact information about the process gas composition and the ambient process parameters. A special form called Measuring Point Data Sheet guides the customers while filling in all the relevant aspects of his measurement task, like the gas composition which includes the measuring component and all participating gases, temperatures of the process gas, dust load and particle size, components in the mixture that can cause corrosion, or that can lead to corrosive condensation and aerosols inside the analyzer sensors. Gases that can be absorbed by solid surfaces. And more information about ambient conditions like the classification of hazardous areas. At the very beginning of the measurement, the customer has to choose the right sampling point in a process. Here are some practical aspects. If possible, should select a point with easy accessibility for installation and maintenance. Weatherproof installation should be preferred with protection against direct sun and rain. The sample point should be protected against process and plant influences like pressure changes, heat or dirt. Choosing the right sample point can also have a big influence on the measurement itself. It should be chosen regarding the following criteria. Chemical reactions inside the process should have ended so that there are no further reactions between components of the gas mixture. The mixing process must be completed at the sampling point so that the extracted gas contains the right mixture for a correct measurement. In general, the composition of the gas mixture has to be representative for the information one expects from the sample point. Once the gas mixture is extracted and enters the sample line, it needs to be treated to measure accurately. Filters, pumps, solenoid valves for switching gas streams, coolers and gas converters form a sample handling system that works reliably. One of the tasks of a sample handling system is the separation and removal of influential gases from the mixture. The mixture could contain the measuring component, which is the component that we want to measure. Non-interfering components will not be measured by the sensor and pass through the sample handling system and the analyzer without any influence. Only interfering components have an influence on the functionality of the sample handling system and the analyzer. Finally, there may also be cross-sensitivity components. They cause a deviation of the analyzer's reading because they have similar physical characteristics to the measuring component. For example, a similar thermal conductivity. The sample handling system has the ability to condition all kinds of gas mixtures for a reliable measurement. It can be tailored exactly to the need for a specific measuring point in a process, superior and more flexible than all other methods. Let us summarize the main tasks. Removal of solids like dust loads. Removal of condensable components like water content. Removal of corrosive components and interfering components. Pressure reduction to a range acceptable for the measuring sensors. Sample transport with special gas pumps and heated sample gas line. These modern modules with their integrated functionalities drastically reduce the space needed for system integration. With the full integration to ABB bus technology, the installation and engineering is simplified, offering a higher functionality at the same time.
From the sample point to the gas analyzer, there is a range of products solving nearly all measurement challenges. Various probes made from suitable materials in different lengths. Special filter units that remove dust particles directly at the sample point. Heated lines in various lengths to transport the sample gas safely to the analysis shelters without condensation. Process proven coolers and pumps. Gas converters, furnaces and acid filters help to prepare sample gases from difficult mixtures so that they can be measured with common sensor technologies. What have you learned in this module? You've learned about the basics and need for process measurement. We discuss the different measuring and installation methods in process industry. The advantages and challenges of extractive continuous gas analysis. The conditions for extractive sample handling and why this is a benefit to have it. We introduced you to the main components of a sample handling system.